around GF Media World and welcome to part 7 of my DVD special review collection review 2013. We'll be taking a look at kind of my serial killer shelf here right there. That's right, cool stuff. <laughs> it's a completely brand new shelf as you can see, different from this one. <laughs> uh, as, as you can see we have our Dexter seasons, we have season 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I do need to get 6 and 7. Season 7 will be coming out on DVD on June 3rd in the UK. Uh, uh, season 8 is the final series that's going to be coming out in the US on June also and that will be the finale series which will be absolutely fantastic. I look forward to seeing that series and seeing how they end off Dexter's character. Uh, Dexter personally is one of the best TV shows going on on TV right now to be perfectly honest. It's a fantastic show. Each season is better than the last. The writing is so fantastically well done. The characters are so interesting. Um, absolutely love the Dexter show and I think if you have not watched them you definitely need to watch them. Um, as you can see I have all the Dexters. I absolutely love the Dexters. Um, I definitely would rewatch them or even again. I think I've watched all these seasons at least three times a piece. Um, they're so well done and I definitely would enjoy watching them from season one to season eight when it does completely finish and see how it kind of links over time in a sense it's really really good stuff as you can see I've got all the season box sets here some really cool artwork <clears throat> I definitely need to review this uh, show at some point and you know, just explain my reasons why I like Dexter so much and you know really really cool stuff some really great artwork for these seasons looking forward to get the next two seasons also um, awesome stuff so Dexter definitely recommend a uh, very similar movie to The Dexter, we have Mr. Brooks with Kevin Costa, a really, really well done movie. Um, I actually watched this during the same time I watched Dexter Season 1, and this really, really blew me away. I think it was actually was a conversation I had about Dexter, and this actually drew me to this, apparently. My friend watched it, and he said he exactly liked it, and I watched it, and I absolutely loved it. Uh, Mr. Brooks is fantastic. It's a very similar type of you know, idea to Dexter, but of course completely different. I'd love to read the book also if I get a chance to. So Mr. Brooks, awesome stuff. We have Jekyll. Uh, the mini TV series, BBC One series, uh, based upon the Jack One Hyde series. It's kind of like a sequel type story to it. Uh, really interesting approach, very different, a very different sci-fi feel to this one. It has some good twists and turns and it. it's a really good little mini series. They only did one season, unfortunately. Um, as you can see on the um, sorry, on this season, this season one there, so it means they were playing another series, but obviously it got cancelled. I think this was back when BBC was a bit stricter and they wasn't like, mm, this is too violent for TV. <laughs> Think of the kids, you know, kind of kind of crap like that. So it's a shame the series never really picked up, but um, it's a great first series. It does end in nice in nice conclusion way. Definitely recommend it. Jekyll. We have the Zodiac, two disc director's cut edition, very good movie also. Um, really enjoyed that. Really enjoyed this film. Uh, the director's cut is much much better also. I think personally, it adds a lot more to the storyline, adds a lot to the characters. Really really good stuff. Based upon true events, definitely recommend it. We have Seven on Blu-ray, rock awesome stuff. We have the Golden Dragon Hunter 2 remake. This is the double disc edition on um, Blu-ray. Awesome stuff. I actually prefer this more to the original. If I'm completely honest, I feel it just feels like more of a feature-length film. It has a bit more of a whole storyline, and it just it just works a lot more, I think. But don't get me wrong, I still love the original. Uh, I think the original version is a classic, but um, I think the remake does a better job. Perfectly honest. <clears throat> We have the Silence of the Lamb uh, trilogy here, that's pretty cool. I have all three movies inside this, I have Red Dragon, Silence of the Lamb and uh, Hannibal, all in this little uh, container box over right here. I'll just put, choose to put it all in one box, Cool some stuff. We have Manhunter, the original and the best. This is the, basically the Red Dragon uh, that was done back in the 70s, but of course they had to change the title because it sounded like a Kung Fu movie apparently. So they didn't change it to um, Manhunter, which is a bit shit, completely honest. But uh, this is the original, very first Hannibal Lecter type movie to be released. I think it's the best, it's the original, and this features the theatrical and director's cut edition. Awesome stuff. <coughs> we have The Bone Collector, I know, I know a really good movie. The Perfect. Perfect Murder, a really good movie also, Michael Douglas. <clears throat> we have Mine Hunters, another really good movie here, a really interesting type movie. Um, a lot of people seem to dislike it, some people we do like it, some people don't like it, but I, I seem to quite enjoy this movie, I think it's got some good charm to it, and I think it's got a nice little kind of, you know, guess, cat-mouse type chase feel to it, and I like the uh, idea of it, so good, good idea, Mine Hunter. <clears throat> Basic Instinct, Special Edition, Anniversary Edition. Good stuff, I like this movie. Um, a lot of people, you know, obviously know the scenes, the iconic scenes with Sharon Stone, and, you know, she kind of got, you know, really famous from doing this movie. But I think it's a really good thriller, also, it's a really good uh, kind of ticking time bomb, it's got some really good interesting ideas to it, and I really like Basic Instinct, the first one. The second one's a load of crap, do not watch it. <laughs> but the first one's a really good, really original, well done movie, so good stuff. <coughs> we have uh, Vagrancy, a very good movie, also, pretty good. 
Uh, I watched the second one also. Do not watch it. It is terrible. Uh, the first one has something about it. The second one definitely does not. <laughs> we have Donkey Punch. A really good, interesting kind of uh, movie also. British movie. Kind of situation type, you know, burner in a sense. We have Copycat. Another good, interesting movie. A Perfect Getaway. Uh, this is the uh, Blu-ray edition. Features the theatrical and the director's cut. Uh, the Rochester is basically just a kind of extra uh, additional storyline scenes to it, a bit more extra flashbacks and stuff. Really good movie also, got some good cast, and it's got uh, Timothy Olven, which is just awesome actor. <laughs> we have Fight Club, the 10 year anniversary edition Blu-ray, awesome stuff. We have The Shining, the Tudor Special Edition. This also comes with the uh, extended version of The Shining, which was only released in the UK on More 4 TV. This was recorded. I got the free disc edition of it. And uh, the actual extended version is much, much better. adds a lot more extra scenes, more character development. I'm um, hoping they release it maybe at some point on Blu-ray when they do it another anniversary edition. But at the moment, we have not got the extended version at all, neither is the US. So it's a shame, but um, um, basically you can only get the extended version on More 4 TV. So if you see it on uh, Channel 4, More 4, uh, check the running time, you might actually watch the extended version, the original extended version. Awesome stuff. We have a, a double, free double pack here. We have Secret Window, Identity, and Panic Room. Three good movies. And of course now we come to my Saw collection, which um, I am really happy to have, and it's just awesome. I need to do reviews of these also, to my opinions. We have Saw 1, the uh, special edition uncut version. Saw 2, director's cut. Saw 3, director's cut, with the extended version also inside. This is the free double piss pack. Uh, we have Saw 4 extended version, we have Saw 5 extended version, uh, Saw 6 extended version also, which I don't know why it doesn't say it, because it actually is, it's a bit weird, oh wait it does say it there, but it doesn't actually say it on the spine, which is a bit weird, <laughs> and of course we have Saw the final chapter, which was a bit disappointing to be perfectly honest, but um, hey, you know, it's in my collection, cool stuff, so yeah, we have my Saw collection, awesome stuff, we have Scream, the trilogy, awesome edition box set, Scream 4, we have Misery, a good Stephen King book, uh, based bomb book. We have The Loved Ones, a really underrated uh, Australian movie. This is really well done. I remember watching this uh, on Play.com trailer when I, a long, long time back, and I actually purchased it on the day it came out because I thought it was going to be so good, and it turns out to be even better than I thought it was going to be. A really well done movie. Definitely recommend The Loved Ones for sure. It's very similar to uh, Misery in a sense, but a teenage version. We have Martyrs, another really good French horror movie. It's really done really, really well. It has an excellent ending. Some really brutal, uh, you know, violence in it, but it's definitely worth it if you were interested in a very good, uh, you know, thriller storyline with some good twists and turns. Definitely recommend Martyrs. We have the Meat Might. Me we have the Meat Might. <coughs> we have the Midnight Meat Train. A really good surprising movie also. This is the extended version, has all the actual violence back in. This is actually a really well done movie, that actually has some, a really good twist at the end of it. I uh, definitely recommend it. It's got the uh, very young uh, Bradley Cooper in it, back when his early work. So go check it out, awesome stuff. We have number 23, it's the uncut version with the theatrical version inside, Jim Carrey, of course. Uh, really interesting kind of dark tale of a, of a session and murder in a sense. Interesting stuff. We have American Psycho, awesome stuff. Shutter Island, Blu-ray. The Hitcher, the Tudor Special Edition, awesome stuff, it's a really good extra source so definitely recommend The Hitcher, the original, do not watch the remake, it is terrible. We have uh, Shallow Grave, a good uh, kind of Channel 4 exclusive uh, from the director of course, uh, Train Spotting, because I'm done millionaire, Danny Boyle of course, uh, Christo Eggerson is absolutely fantastic in this, really good movie. We have Eden Lake, of course everyone's favourite movie, <laughs> awesome stuff. We have Harry Brown, of course, Michael Caine, fucking, you know, shooting up some chaffs, brilliant. <laughs> awesome stuff. We have Death Sentence, uh, Kevin Bacon shooting up some gangsters. <laughs> so we have some very similar interest there. We have Frontiers, from the director of Hitman. We have the uh, Asian Extremes, Old Boy, to the special edition. We have I Saw the Devil, very similar movie, well done. We have Chaser, a really good, uh, similar movie to kind of Old Boy in a sense, and a good chase thriller type movie, serial killer type movie. Really good Asian extremes also. And finally, we have The Collector on Blu-ray. Definitely looking forward to getting The Collection when it comes out in the UK. It will be a little while, but I'm looking forward to getting that sequel. So The Collector, awesome movie, would definitely recommend it. So there you go folks, we have my kind of serial killer type collection here. There is a few more on the actual second shelf here underneath, but uh, I'll go to them another time. So there you go, folks. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you, Andrew D. Thank you.